This conference will now be recorded. All right, so today is Thursday, March 12th, and as always, everything that we're going to be talking about today is for educational purposes only, and nothing is intended as any type of investment advice. All right, so 7%. Okay, so first of all, I know we put in there that if the SPY, uh, the SPY is to hit 7%, seven, uh, 7 it's supposed to hold. I thought it was 13 and then at 50, if it was able to hit 15, then it, the, actual, the entire market would hold. That's for some reason, that's what the numbers that I, okay, 13 is the second step and after seven, but this just hit seven and it didn't hold. Interesting. All right, well, either way, today is going to be an interesting day. As we can see out there, um, every one of the stock, or everyday stocks, um, pretty much, Take your pick besides something that might be able to cure this virus. It is it's taking a hit. So we're going to see a lot. Well, actually, it's funny because you'd think we'd be seeing a lot of movement, but there's really not that much trading that's going on. I think people are a bit, uh, okay, only hope once the market opens. Gotcha. Um, it, it's kind of interesting because it, it, as much as we see what's going on a lot, there's not really too much that's going on out there. Let's talk about a few things, though. So APT, we're going to definitely be watching. We can see coming into this morning, we had some pretty good volume. We pushed up to that 17 level, and we just were not able to really get anything. If you look at the, the actual bigger prints up here, there just really was nothing above that 15, and it's just been really mostly selling coming down into that 15. So I'm not really expecting a big pop-up to come back in unless we start to see some type of buying coming out of nowhere. In this case, 15 obviously being a psychological level, I would expect really based off the prints, what I'm looking at right now is I'd expect some type of kind of like false breakout once we come close to the market opening. Um, and then us seeing a trigger coming back down in order to break that 15 and then obviously based off the range that we see here is going to be you know it's all over the place so um being at fit once again being at 15 it it's not going to be the cleanest of trades but you know if we get that false breakout we get to pull up enough then we you know we really don't really have to worry that much about the 15 and it eventually coming down to break but once again like i said i just don't see much buying coming into this at all and it's mostly been bigger selling um, next thing going to be looking at is INO. Obviously, you know, it's pretty much feel like a broken record these past few weeks because we're just watching the same stocks. But guess what? If they keep moving, we're going to continue to watch them. So I know Dave had posted in there. So 10 a very odd level so far here because you can see we've, we've got basically a mix coming in. We have some buying. We have some selling. But um, just look at the, you know, some of the other prints coming in. You can see right here at 901, I really did like this, these prints over, you know, 1010 to into 1015. Um, and we are still getting some pretty, pretty good buying that's coming into here. So uh, the fact that we're getting buying at these highs really shows us that it, it looks like it wants more room towards that upside. So um, as of right now, I have to stay bullish with it. 1050 obviously should tell us a lot more. You can see we just had a little bit of refreshing coming in. Yeah, just hit an order. So still basically all so seeing a lot of buying that's coming back into this. Now, based off those 1050 prints, we're going to expect a pullback. You can see we just got a few riders coming in. Um, and then from that pullback, we're really going to, you know, once again, if it's holding above 10 this well, um, it, it's showing that we still have a lot of room towards that upside. Now, CC, uh, CCL, this is very interesting, and I'm putting this on our list for, for a weird reason, but if you look, so this morning we got a little bit of selling, but if you look at what the actual time was, it was, you know, we're talking about five, you know, 5.50 in the morning, okay, 6.30 in the morning, and then almost everything since then, once we come into eight o'clock, you can see we really got basically nothing but buying um, on the bigger side of things. And then just this little bit of selling came in once I started to talk, but that print pattern, just very, very interesting to me how how we would see this, you know, just basically all the bigger prints within it being buying as this thing is coming, you know, tanking down and as we saw everything else. So um, I definitely want to watch this. It's had a beautiful range over the past few days. Yesterday it was $3.29. Um, you know, on average, dollar thirty-eight, but we're going to be expecting a lot more. I know that they, uh, who have, I forget who posted it, but they they're canceling a lot of their crew or, or canceling their cruises, um, which is. Um, this is, it's not only going to affect, you know, the, the actual day-to-day -day markets, but think about earnings for a lot of these companies. When their next earnings come up, there's going to be a lot of bad, you know, a lot of negative things that are going to be, you know, a lot of negative numbers that are going to be coming out. So that's going to be some interesting time. Um, CODX, obviously, you know, we've been watching these same stocks, you know, we pretty much, we should know what our list is by now, but coming into CODX, I, I haven't really seen anything that's jumped out to me too big, you know, too, uh, too much yet. 
you know, coming into that 16, we got a little bit of selling there. I mean, a little bit of buying above. It's just, it's once again, there's just not really much here yet. We know it's going to move today, but we need to wait for a better show of hand, especially when we're going to be seeing the volume note. You know, it's already trading 2.6 million shares. So we're going to be expecting a lot out of these, you know, out of INO, out of CODX. Um, so just make sure that we get that show of hand because these things can get nasty real quick. Now, one thing that I do want to, you know, suggest is that just understand that we're probably going to see even more halts today than we have in, you know, in the past few days, which I know sounds crazy and almost impossible, but at the same time, uh, you know, I, I really do expect that. So just be careful out there this morning. Now let's go to our side list, TLSA. So, you know, we were talking about it yesterday. It made that nice move coming into the pre-market, which you know, should really should have made yesterday. Um, but uh, excuse me, you know, yesterday's move that came back in after we pulled back from there. But once again, I haven't really seen that much in it yet. And if we come near the highs, you can see there's really not that much there. You know, you have a little bit at six and a little bit over. So um, it, it's certainly something to watch based off of the move that we saw coming into it yesterday. But, you know, overall, it's it's kind of iffy. A lot of what I'm like I'm seeing out there is just I'm, it, there's not that much con uh, conviction behind really anything that's trading besides the stocks that uh, like INO, like our APT, like our CODX. And just to point out real quick so you can see the buying that's still coming into this. These are above the aspirants, which didn't help really that much, but still a lot of buying coming to INO. So let's keep let's make sure that we. Uh, that we're paying very close attention to it. Yeah, it's that uncertainty. I mean, still, there's still no answers yet. And I think that's what's really killing the market is because usually, you know, they have like a, a way of spinning things to make everyone feel like it's going to be okay. And they just don't have that right now. I mean, they there's just, there's no answers yet. And the, not having those answers, that's what's causing this market right now. All right, guys. So basically we have pretty much the same list that we've had, you know, for, you know, for the past few weeks, as well as our market stocks are going to be in play, you know, obviously with the market acting the way that it is. Now, anything else out there that I missed? Anything else out there that I missed? A lot of stuff down, but not as much trading going on out there. <clears throat> People are definitely going to be scared. So my thoughts on BA. So BA, if I remember correctly, oh, no, it's not as expensive. Um, I don't really have too many. There's not really much here that's showing me anything. I mean, 161.25, you had some decent selling, but it's already, you know, it's already at 160, which this, you know, this selling right here would tell me that it would be able to break that 160, but I would need to see some type of more selling into there than that one print there. So just no real show of hand there yet. And then looking over RCL. Um, RCL, uh, looks like a lot of covering coming into it. Um, not so much selling coming in at those lows. I mean, you could look at the 33 at a little bit, but then we come up to 33. It looks like mostly covering in here rather than, uh, rather than any type of selling. Although I do like that. I'm going to put this one on our list. Um, and also BL, uh, excuse me, BA is, is extremely discounted right now. I was expecting it to be a lot more expensive, although obviously everything is taking a hit. Um, and can I look at POAI? Uh, yeah, um, definitely. Now let's just take a look at the prints real quick and see if we had anything stands out. Okay, so we had some nice, good, you know, real nice buying that came in at that 350 level. Um, underneath some really nice buying at three. I mean, you know, not as much as you'd like for such a cheap stock, but yeah, I like it a lot. Absolutely, that's not even side list. That's a uh, a just a normal stock. But I really like the bind that we have at 350. I like the way that it's pulled back within there. It looks like we definitely have the ability to uh, to break out. Anything in ZM? So ZM, I was watching this morning, and we definitely have a little bit. Yeah. So if we come over, you can see from this morning, you have a 107, okay, which we're obviously really far from. But then we come down to this 105, 104 area, and it's showing us that we have a lot more room than this 103. Um, because we just remember, for, you know, the, the – when we see prints like this in, in ZM, especially during the pre-market, because it really doesn't trade that much, that means a lot. So it's kind of, this selling that's coming in definitely shows us we have the ability to break those lows. All right, guys. So let's get ready for our morning. Things are going to get crazy. So remember that. And, you know, at the same time, you know, <laughs> let's just make sure that we're executing, taking our opportunities. Let's make sure that we're focused. OK, we have a lot of stuff on our list this morning. There's going to be a lot of stuff that's going to be moving around on your scanners. So do not get caught up trying to watch everything. Let's make sure you pick the ones that you see the best show of hand in and move from there. All right, guys, I will talk to everyone in the chat and happy trading.